I'm definitely going to be cutting, chopping. I don't even start with the like, hot topic. Hey everyone, my name's Alyssa Vaughn. You're here on After Haircut Podcast. It's your podcast. It's my podcast. I've never done this before. This is bad. Okay, one second. I'm like Katy Perry. I'm like a plastic bag floating in the wind, you know? This is my first podcast ever. Yay! Here we are in my barber shop. I'm here with my lovely client. I'll let you introduce yourself. Uh, Michael Antonov. Nice. Well, I'm going to put his handle right here if anybody wants to follow him on Instagram. Pop yeah. up somewhere like down here, probably. It will. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Make it easy on everyone else. Well, it was a day, but now it's nice. Yep, yeah, Friday evening. Uh, Thanks for doing studio. this. Yeah, thanks so much for doing this with me. I appreciate you coming in out of your time to entertain everyone it's online. No problem, you know? yeah, this whole thing just got set up within the last like hour. I think I've been watching so many podcasts and I was like, ooh, this one would be really fun to do something like people I've cut in hair with. And so it'll be more fun for me to connect with my clients, but then also share my clients because I feel like I post them every day on Instagram and I'm like, I want to find a way where I can talk about our experience, what we talked in our chairs together. So yeah. this is going to be a fun way to like interact with viewers who are watching my YouTube channel doing the haircuts because I don't talk in those videos. Yeah, yeah it's kind of just music. It's just music. Hair. Yeah, hopefully I can intermix the two with this. So having a podcast and cutting hair and a little bit of background music or something, I'll, I'll figure it out. So this is going to be the start of the journey to yeah. this podcast. Episode one. Yeah, here we are. Not about me. Let's talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, tell us who are you? Where are you from? What do you like? I am uh, 26 years old currently. Oh, cool. So I was born and raised in Portland, Oregon, yeah. in the surrounding areas. Lived there for 23 years. 23 years? Yeah, most of my life. Decided to leave. when I made the decision when I was about 21 years old, but... I was in electrical school, so I was forced to stay here till I graduated. I got my license. It was a four-year trade school. That's and then cool. I moved and did solar sales in Dallas, Texas for a year. Did you like Texas? Oh, I love Texas. It's one of my favorite states. Perfect place to raise a family, but... Oh, yeah? Yeah. Would you move there if you have a family one day? I'd move there single right now, but I'm actually visiting town here because I moved to Florida. So I've been living oh, yeah? in Florida for the last two years. That's cool. And you know I had to get a cut from Alyssa every yeah. time I'm in town. Fresh hair go. How's that going, by the way? Um, it's good. It's always a uh, nostalgic being in your hometown, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you hang out mostly with? You. Yeah. Oh, uh, Arthur. Okay, so since you've been in my chair and we cut your hair quite a few times now in the past years. The one thing I do know, you love traveling. Yes, I love, that's my favorite hobby. Tell us some of your favorite countries you have traveled, some of your favorite experiences that you've had traveling. First time I left the United States overseas, I was 19. You were 19? Yeah. Nice. Were you with friends or family? Friends. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's the best way to travel, you know. Yeah, I know, it's awesome. It's a different type of journey. Yeah, especially that young, you're kind of like, it's crazy. I just graduated oh. high school what? when I was 19. So was That's so crazy that you did that. Yeah, yeah. Did your parents support you in that trip or did you work hard for that trip? Oh, no, it was all me. It was all you? They thought I was bluffing when I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to Europe in like six months. Yeah, that's they're amazing, like, Mike. They're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then like literally like a couple weeks before I left, I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, so I'm flying out to London. Two weeks and they're like, oh, shoot, you're actually going. Which friend of, like, was it you who came up with this idea or your oh, friends? No. One of my friends, so she actually lived in London because she was cool. studying. She was like studying abroad. And I went there with her. Her boyfriend and our other friend, so three guys went to go visit mm -hmm. her. Friend was like, I want to go see my girlfriend. Come with me, yeah. you guys. We all went and then we went, we country hopped and it was like a crazy vacation for us. Were you working at the time when you went out? Yeah, yeah I was working. I okay. took like a little over two weeks off. That's cool. Yeah. Where did you guys go? England. England? London. London? Yeah. Where do we go first? Italy or France? So we hit really? four countries in two weeks, yeah. And Greece. So Greece. Oh, Italy, you went to Greece and, at the end? Yeah, at the end, yeah. Which one was your favorite country? 
I honestly I really like England, but I like England. Uh, London is just cool. It's like super uh, historic. It's mm -hmm. been around for way longer than the United States, so you can kind of see the history of it and the fast pace. London's a lot like uh, New York City in America, mm -hmm. just way smaller, but everything's super fast paced mm -hmm. and they have a nice underground railroad and stuff. Yeah. But um, I love Greece. Wait, you know that thing they have underneath the ocean? What's that train? From London to. What's the other country it goes? It's underground and it goes under the ocean. Have you? Do you know about that? That bullet train? Yeah, but I've never been on it. I want to go on that one so bad. That would be cool. That's like on my bucket list thing to do. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. So you've been to all those countries too: England, France. Mm -hmm. you, have you been to London? I have with my family when I was a kid. I mm -hmm. we went to the zoo. I remember that, and I got my face pan like as a leopard. Oh, nice. Yeah, you it was really. That? Oh yeah, I just remember like sitting in the taxi and driving with my face pan. Like a guy took my photo at one point when we were driving by, and before that, it was we didn't have cell phones at the time. Like everyone just had their cameras and <laughs> took a shot. And I also burned my finger really bad for the first time. On what? On a stove. Uh -huh. My mom was like, "I told you it was hot," and I was like. I don't know why I touched it. Yeah. And it got you really burn, bad. You burn and you learn. I did learn. I never burned my finger after that. Well, not on purpose. Like oh, yeah. I remember like looking at it and like putting my finger like purposely like burning my. <laughs> I was a bright child. Uh, I, 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 a lot of us have done that. Though. You you did. As no, a kid. I, I probably done stupider things. Oh. But anyways, with your friends when you guys did all these trips, what was your favorite experience like? What, what did you do in London yourself? Uh, shopping, exploring. The best thing is uh, just going out. out of America, Going out? Seeing like how people in a different culture live, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you're, you're literally thousands and thousands of miles away from the United States. Everything's different. Mm -hmm. It opens your mind to like the world is huge, you know? Yeah. You're not just condensed to this like small town mentality anymore. You're... You're literally in another country with your friends just running around, just doing whatever you want. Mm -hmm. That's super fun. I love it's... friend trips. I never went with my friends out of the country, though, so I'm slightly jealous. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you have to. Yeah, we always went to, like, Las Vegas and things like that. But that's another story for another time. Oh, yeah. Tell me about Greece. What did you like about Greece? Oh, the people there. Mm -hmm. like amazing people. Super, super friendly. Yeah. Hospitable. Yeah. Uh, Greece is nice, too, because it's like... I went to just see Antorini, the small island. Oh, yeah. I love that place. Dirt bike. I'm not dirt bike. You're like doing the ATVs through the streets. That's like a definitely to do. I did that as a kid. Well, not kid. I was 22 or something like that. And I did that with my family and absolutely love that. And you did it. We'll post both of our photos now of us on our ATVs. There you go. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, yeah. the sunsets, um, the views, like waking mm. up. We had an Airbnb right on no the way. side. Oh, that's beautiful. I didn't stay overnight, so I bet that was really cool. Oh, you just literally came yeah. and just left? Right yeah, there? we were on our cruise ship, and it like stopped, and then we got off oh, and did the tour for the day. Santorini? Yeah, oh, with that's... the ATVs. Did uh, you go in the ocean in Greece? Honestly, I think we went in like, the fall time, so I think it was mm. a little chilly. We just, yeah. we just, we had like an infinity pool on our oh, cool. Airbnb, so we just like swam in there. No big deal. It was legit, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, you haven't even talked about food. Like, do you eat food when you travel? Because that's why I travel. I, I love the food. Oh, that's like... You haven't one. even mentioned that. I'm sure there's a lot of foodies who... That's like the number watching. one thing about traveling is going to mm -hmm. eat. That's how you get to know the culture, too. I feel yeah, like... Yeah, you, you eat food that you'll never eat yeah. in the United States, you know? Yeah. What that's was like actually authentic. Yeah, you know? because here in the States, we're allowed to put in certain ingredients. And, in, like, in... Um, you know, that are like chemically not okay. And so other countries don't allow those chemicals to be in their food. So that's why lots of foods taste different outside of the States. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of na more natural ingredients mm -hmm. overseas. Um, the thing I noticed about Greece, they're gyros or they call them like gyros over there. Yeah. They all so have french fries in them. I know. It's so good. It's they're delicious. Awesome. I remember... My dad and I went up to one window, and then after we were done, we went back and got a second one because it was so good. Really? Yeah. Two in a row. Yeah. The food's so good That's in Greece. I would do, yeah. 
Yeah, you would. Yeah, of course. I nice. I overeat when I'm on vacation. Like calories don't exist when you're really? on vacation, right? No, they no, do not exist. Just, you're just eating, walking around. Mm. Two weeks. It was, that sounds it was so, so awesome. Fun. And then came back home. I didn't even want to leave when I was. Then I come back home and I was like, man. It's the worst coming home from a trip. And then especially to Portland, it's all rainy. <laughs> Right. Except for right now, it's beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. right now it's beautiful. It's like, ah, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, this is why I love the Northwest. It's gorgeous. I'm going to Florida actually in two weeks for a hair show. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Orlando. Yeah, but by the time I'm probably e finished editing, I'll be on a plane or I'll be editing this podcast thing on the plane to Florida. Nice. Yeah, to do the hair show event. That's so much fun. Yeah, it will be a lot of fun. I haven't been to a hair show since the last time I won the American Crew. And I was, like, announced in the Long Beach hair show. Three years ago? Um, I think that was, like, seven, nine. It could be almost ten years ago. I don't so remember. I've been to a hair show in nine years. Yeah. So it'll be really fun to go back and see what it's all about now. And I'm guessing, like, a lot of things have evolved, like, with podcasts, with people doing YouTube, so it'll be a, definitely a different type of experience. How long have I been doing your hair, Mike? How long? Mm-hmm. Um, so honestly, it's been at least, probably I'd say a good, honestly over like, man, it was around time when I got my first haircut. So what was that, 2020, I believe? So it has to, has to have been four years now. Four years? Four years consistent. Every time I'm in town visiting, I'm, I'm getting my haircut here. <laughs> and Mike's about every two week. after two weeks you get a haircut? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. for all the men watching, my advice is every two weeks get a haircut just to keep it fresh, keep it consistent. You don't wanna, you don't wanna leave the house and run, randomly run into your crush at the supermarket looking, <laughs> looking a little, uh, you know. It's so true. I actually got, in, got a girlfriend. He came in, got a haircut, then left right after the haircut, after I styled it and everything, went to a restaurant or a bar, whatever he went. And he sat down and a girl came up and was like, hey, I really like your hair. And he's like, oh, I just got a haircut. And then next time he came in, he's like, I got a girlfriend. I was like, sweet. How there did you? you? He's like, haircut. So I'm, that's why I'm here. I'm trying to get a girlfriend. So. Yeah, so ladies, he is single. How many siblings do you have, by the way? Uh, three, so two brothers and one sister. Oh yeah, are you guys all friends? Yeah, we're cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, no, we're cool. It's nice when you can get along with your family, right? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I feel like every family siblings kind of butt heads, but... Yeah, that's it gets you ready for the world. Yeah, you get ready for the world, and mm -hmm. the older you get, the more you guys become closer i feel like most of the time most of the times uh yeah they also say family doesn't always come from blood either too that's so true because i have i have some friends that are family you know, yeah you know, would you support. consider arthur as family yeah for sure yeah. that's the friend we were talking Shout about arthur he sees his podcast on. <laughs> he's totally gonna be watching he loves you <laughs> <laughs> Like, I know you're a big gym goer like you love the gym I think it's pretty much like a lifestyle for you at this point yeah how long have you been working out how what inspired you to become a gym enthusiast is that what you call it a gym enthusiast yeah just a, a gym rat I guess <laughs> I call myself a gym rat I love that so when did I start working out yeah um I played football for one season when I was a sophomore. I wasn't good at it at all. And then I stopped. What spot did you play? I was a wide receiver. A wide receiver? And, and a cornerback. So that kind of got me into the gym. My older brother also pushed me in the gym because he used to play football. Only played for one year? Just one year. Why did you quit? I just didn't really like it. You didn't like it? Oh, and the summer trainings we were doing. So I just oh, yeah. Hang out. No, but it was good for a year. I just started working out. Yeah. Sophomore year. So what is that? Probably 15 years old. Yeah. And I'm 26 now and I never stopped. So. Oh, you never stopped since then? No, unless I, got a, unless I got an injury or something. How how often do you go to the gym each week? Uh, I try I try my best five times a week. That's cool. Solid. Work and life always gets in the way. Sometimes it'll be three, sometimes it'll be less, sometimes it'll be six, seven days a week. 
depends on how my schedule is. That's awesome. I just recently started working out. Like I've been working out for like two months now and I feel so much better. I hadn't ever gone away from the gym. And I'm telling you, after like two years of not going to the gym and then makes you feel very more tired, less motivated. And ever since I've been going to the gym, after two months or not I don't I don't go I do home workouts I got a nice foam mat some weights and that's perfect for me because I don't really want to hurt myself going straight back into the gym you know yeah, yeah I got just you. gotta get a system down yeah you got easier way yeah it, but I've been so much more motivated to do stuff and here we are now doing a podcast so oh there you go <laughs> yeah, the gym goes hand in hand Many people think that it'll make you fatigue or more tired, but the gym does give you a lot of energy. I can agree to that. And it drowns out the noise of life, too. For me, it's like therapy. Really? Yeah. How is it like therapy for you? Because I go into the gym, it's like a whole process. Pretty much on the way to the gym, I'm already blasting my favorite music. I get in, my headphones on. What tunes will you be blasting? A lot of, uh, you know, upbeat, like EDM. Nice. Avicii. Bass and a rap yeah um, old school rap you know hip-hop all that stuff because when i'm under the weights or working out literally the only thing i'm focused on is like pushing that weight an hour and hours i'm not thinking about anything i'm just kind of drowning out the noise yeah. of life with the with the movements in the gym so i love it it's a i a lot of times i go to the gym not even just for the physical aspect but the mental it's just like a way to kind of escape reality you know yeah at least for me when you lived in portland was it a lot easier to go during the winter times because it gets so oh yeah you know the gym saved me yeah it saved my mental health because here in the northwest it definitely gets a lot darker like by what month october October it starts getting really dark all the way through till June where we're at right now. Yeah, it gets dark. Oh and no, May. Rainy. Yeah, and it just rains and rains and rains and it's doom and gloom. And but it creates beautiful nature out here. Our nature is pretty neat out here. Yeah. And um, it's beautiful for three months and then it goes back to like pretty much dark. I come here. Yeah, when you come in to get your haircuts during the winter, it's always dark because oh, yeah. I'm cutting hair from like four to 10 at night. Not even the darkness, it's just the, the rain. I feel like it rains. Port, the Pacific Northwest, the Seattle area, and yeah. even where we live, Portland, it's the most, one of the most rainy climates in America. Oh. Does haircuts boost your mood when you're living in the Northwest? Yeah, haircuts in general always make a man feel like they just lost like 50 pounds. <laughs> or That's cool. It's like makeup for men, you know? Yeah, it's like the your best like accessory almost. Yeah. Unless you get shaved bald, but that can look good too. It does look good. <laughs> it's not like Jason Statham look. Or what's that guy, um, The Rock? He looks great. Yeah, he looks great. Bald. Yeah, and Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, yeah. Yeah, he looked really good and bald. Yeah, I wonder if I look good bald now. But... We should do it. Let's shave. No, we'll, we'll, hey, we'll the keep the hair. If I should shave my hair. <laughs> I had a question for you. Have I ever screwed up your haircut? No, never. That's why I keep coming back for four years consistently. When I'm in town. Are you being honest? No, I promise. Really? Yeah. Well, that's good. I haven't messed up your, any of your haircuts, so I feel really good about that. No, never. Cool. Not, not, not once. Ever. What else are we going to talk about today? Is there anything that's inspiring you to do in life right now? Anything that's yeah. inspired me to do in life? Yeah. What's What's some of Mike's dreams or goals? Dreams or goals? Mm -hmm. Um, my dreams or goals. That's such a deep question. Um, for now, I just don't. I want to be outside of the norm. Yeah. I'm like a. I'm like Katy Perry. I'm like a plastic bag floating in the wind. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to, it's kind of tough packing all your things and moving because I'm from here, but I'm oh, in yeah. Florida right now. And How did you end up moving to Florida? Um, So long story short, I was already sick of this place, like Portland, Vancouver area. Yeah, it was really hard for a few years living here. I even wanted to move at one point, but didn't. We ended up buying a house here, which is really cool. Yeah, that's good. Which I haven't shared yet, but hopefully in the meantime. If not, surprise. Yeah. Hairstyles. Mikey, I feel like you're really edgy in ways. Like, 
I think when I first started cutting your hair, I thought you would just keep your wavy curly hair. Well, it's not really curly. It's like it's a good wave to your hair. Yeah. But then, like you showed me how you style it at home with a straightener. It looks really cool this way. I love it. More of a clean look instead of having all curly. Cause yeah. A lot of guys like the perm look, yeah. but I don't. You don't like it? I it's not like your thing. A, I just like a clean cut, like Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo type of. I don't even know who that is. He's an, one of the most famous soccer players in the world. Oh, okay, cool. Or football, as you call it in Europe. Do you watch soccer? No, never. Never? never. Oh, you just like soccer guys' hair cuts. His hair, yeah. his hairstyle is kind of mm -hmm. like what I go for. I love soccer players because they always have such great style, like David Beckham. Yeah, this is more of a David Beckham yeah. style. Well, his hair is like buzzed and bleached right now. Like he's blonde blonde. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I but know. it's probably a style he's done. Rocked. Yeah. <laughs> he has an awesome haircut. That guy, Leaf Blower, had a mohawk. Did you yeah, see that? A yeah. What's your favorite hair products that you like to use in your hair? Um. Okay, so for like the last eight years of my life, I've been using Got to Be Glued. Shout out to Got to Be Glued. <laughs> Um, literally like amazing hold, shine, you know, <laughs> Jersey Shore. And it wasn't like, how much was it for Got To Be Glue? Oh, like the price? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like under $10 probably. Oh, nice. Or so it's a good price point. Something. Yeah. Was it hard to wash out of your hair? Of course. It, it literally makes your hair as like hard as a rock. Really? Yeah. How long would it take for you to wash your hair? Oh, I mean, standard shower time. <laughs> like five minutes. <laughs> hair... Your you hit my plants? <laughs> How dare you? It holds your hair so well. But um, yeah. I was trying to find a new hair product for years and years, and I would try like different gels and stuff from mm. the store, mm -hmm. and nothing would hold or would hold or would look yeah. too dry or crappy. And then Alyssa actually put me on this hair product called Stake. I put him on it. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I've been using that, and it's been... It looks way more natural. It looks really good. I like this style. It's, we, you know, your Jersey Shore style had its time. Yeah, but it's... it's Time to scoot it away. I'm glad it's retired. Yeah, I think, like, it's good. It's important, like, growing up. Like, once you definitely hit, like, closer to 30s, you should be definitely wanting to change up your look. Oh, like, 100%. Like, keep the same style, but try new things because, you know, you're trying to get more serious with life and... Yada yada. Yeah, trying to settle down. Oh, you are? No. I thought you said you weren't. No, I'm just uh, taking it slow. Yeah, I'm just trying to make calculated risks. Um, yeah. I'm not in a rush for, you know, marriage or any of that. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. But yeah, definitely don't rush it if you're not ready. Yeah, I'm surprised some of the stuff you actually know about me because sometimes I'm like, hey, Mike, like this happened. And you're like, yeah, you know. I was like, what? Oh, yeah, I don't like you told me that like a month ago, and you're like, what? Yeah, it's weird. I'm like, I was that comfortable telling you that stuff? That's weird, but that's okay. But I also have clients who tell me that too. Like, oh, yeah, I knew this, and like, whoa. Yeah, I feel like everyone just for some reason vents to their barbers. It's true. It's almost like a therapy session every time. Yeah, but there's healthy ways of doing it. There's bad ways of doing it. But with you, I don't care. Like, because so, I know you. Some people will just lay it out. Yeah. You don't even ask them to do that. No, like, I sometimes get, like, guys who are brand new to my barber shop and will come in, sit in my chair, and I haven't, they haven't even said their name or asked what my name, or I haven't had a chance to talk to them. They'll just say, oh, I've, today's the worst day of my life and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, whoa. My mind's not ready for that, but that's okay. Sometimes I get trauma dumped, but that will be another podcast for its own thing. You're never annoying in my chair, so I appreciate all your good vibes. I appreciate it. I'm just trying to get the good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is pretty much it at this point. I think we covered quite a bit, but this is probably not going to be the best podcast, like I said. But that's okay. That, it's just a humble beginning to yeah, the podcast. It's just like a, put your foot in the water. Thing. Oh, I'm. I didn't even put my foot. I'm, I feel like I'm plunging, like jumping off oh, a cliff. I just jumped off a cliff because, like, to get this whole set up within just a week, and then. But then actually set it up, figure out how to use it. It's complicated, but it's all okay. Yeah, good job, multiple camera angles. You don't feel like you're on a live stream. No, I feel very just like 
you know, like Dory the fish. Oh. That's what I feel. Oh, like. Why do you feel like that? Um, <laughs> I'm a mom. I own a business. I own another oh, business. Oh, out for I, today. Yeah. yeah. Well, and yesterday I went to that whole event, like two two events. So I never usually get up and like do activities. Usually I'm just at home chilling or whatever getting chores done yeah. but yesterday was my first time ever like getting out and doing that event so i'm like oh frazzled after that you know after a big thing you yeah, haven't yeah, done yeah. in a long time socializing there. yeah and then doing something i've never done before like this that's pretty cool but well, thank you so much for coming on to this podcast you're you were awesome yeah make sure you guys subscribe to this lovely channel because there's going to be more future podcasts there's going to be some really cool ones i already have someone a few people who already want to do this but it just determines how quick i'm at editing these things and to get them out there like subscribe you know what to do and if you yeah should should mike shave his head i think we recorded that right Yeah, so I said you would regret it, so comment below if you think Mike should shave his head bald, which I truly do not think you should at this time of your life, especially in the summer. Your head will be kind of white, and then you have to go. Yeah, you're going to burn it. Yeah, let's not do that. So I'm going to not. Don't comment. Anyways, have a good night, guys. We're tired. Peace and love. Don't hate on your barbers. Now we're just rambling. Yep. Good night, everybody. Okay, that's it. She. Dude, I do not feel confident in this. Oh my gosh, I feel like we need to redo that tomorrow. <laughs>